Easily add personality, viewpoints, or attitude to your Siri. One sec. I find your lack of knowledge disturbing. The greatest coffee in the galaxy is obviously Death Wish Coffee. On it. Healthy things you seek? Supermarket one must visit. Inexpensive they may be. As a pastor, I would encourage someone facing anxiety to cast their cares upon the Lord. To create these, it only takes a few simple steps using the Siri shortcut I've created that utilizes ChatGPT. The first thing you want to do is get the Siri shortcut I've created. The link is in the description. Click Get Shortcut. And on the next screen, click Add Shortcut. Now click the three dots for Super Siri with Personality to edit it. I'll show you in just a minute how to easily get the API key from OpenAI. Before we do that, though, go to where it says Add Personality or a Character here. Just type in whatever you want. I've typed in Batman here, but you can use anything. Darth Vader, a teenager with attitude, Bob Ross, a rock, Donald Trump. I've tried many different things here, and it's always entertaining. Okay, I'll leave it with Batman for now. Now head on down to where it says, Ask for text with How Can I Help You? If you want to change how it asks you what you need. For instance, I could put, I'm Batman, how could I help you? But for now, I'll just leave it like this. Okay, now we are ready to get the API key from OpenAI. Just go to platform.openai.com and log in or create an account. The link is in the description. When I signed up for an account, I got $18 in credits. I'm not sure if you get free credits still. If not, I've only used 10 cents so far and I've asked hundreds of questions to this super Siri with personality. Now that you've signed in, click the menu at the top right. Now go to API Reference and scroll down just a bit till you see API keys. Click that, and on the next page click Create New Secret Key. Now copy this secret key, and we will head back to Shortcuts to paste in our shortcut. Just paste it in where it says Add API Key Here. Great, you are almost done. Now hit Done. And click on the shortcut icon to activate it the first time. I've typed hi just to get things started. Hit the done button and hit allow. This just allows you to access ChatGPT to add personality. Here is the fun response from Batman. Greetings, mortal. You have reached Gotham's Cape Crusader, Batman, the Dark Knight who never rests until justice is served. What can I do for you today? Lastly, you allow the shortcut to copy to clipboard. I find it helpful to be able to paste the responses into email, text, or wherever I need to use it. If you ever want to follow up on your conversation, simply type or say, yes. Okay, last thing. You want to have a unique name so Siri knows when to use your chat GPT persona to answer questions. For instance, I can call this one Batman Siri. To do this, click the three dots for the last time. Click the drop down up top. Click rename and type what you want. Be sure to use a unique name. After you bring up Siri, just say Batman Siri or whatever you've named your shortcut. By the way, once you are done, you can click the drop down up top and click Duplicate. You can simply change the personality to something else. Change the name of the shortcut and make as many personalized series as you want. You can use the exact same API key as before. For instance, I have Darth Siri, Yoda Siri, Sassy Siri, Preacher Siri, Donald Trump Siri, and others. Whatever character or persona you try, the AI is trained to answer your question while doing it from the viewpoint of whoever or whatever you set up. I hope you find this video helpful and also entertaining. Let me know what you think. And if you're interested in learning more about how AI can benefit you or your church ministry, be sure to follow me on social media and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content.